to see it. T taste like orange. is students teaching students and you know teachers teaching students mm -hmm. how to teach students and it's it's uh, you know we're pretty excited about it because we have enough computer access to let it happen and it's it's really been exciting So you have the older kids teaching the younger kids what they know, their confidence is building, they're building on their vocabulary skills in English, um, they're getting that confidence to be more independent within themselves also, because they're learning how to do stuff and they're teaching it, so it's just practicing. And um, even the younger kids who catch on quicker, they'll, they might be the ones who are teaching the older kids. general for all the kids, um, they're discovering that they can be more specific, they can be more precise on their their adjectives, their verbs, instead of just we went to the store, well mm -hmm. we bounced down the street to the store or whatever, mm -hmm. and they're, they're doing it themselves, or all I have to do is, okay, is that juicy enough? Is that specific enough? Mm -hmm. Is that really what you want to say? How exactly do you want to say it? And, you know, and we talk about the difference between what we call first grade sentences, mm -hmm. my dad ate pizza, compared to fourth or fifth grade sentences that are full and rich and full of language. So.